Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and this is how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Okay, before you begin this procedure, you must have done our how to flash a custom recovery image procedure first. If you haven't done that, you can click on this link here to be taken to that. Once you're done with that, then you can come here and continue. Okay, first thing you need to do is choose a ROM. So you're going to head to our ROM section here. Click on that link there. We brought to our Android ROM section. And then you're going to scroll down and find your device. Okay, so the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Remember that there are two different versions um, of ROMs. There's the CDMA, which means Verizon and Sprint, and there's the GSM, which means T-Mobile, AT&T, or any other European carrier. So you would click on whichever one you have. And you'll be presented with a list of the ROMs that we have. And just click on whichever one you want. And scroll down, you'll see the download link. This will take you to the developer's download page. And if you scroll down, you'll find his actual download link. Click on that and save it to your computer. Okay, so now you're going to plug in your device via USB and mount the SD card so that we can transfer files to it. If you're using a Sprint Galaxy Tab, you might not have that option. Uh, it might try to mount your SD card as a CD-ROM drive. If that's the case, use a SD card adapter, like a USB adapter. Put your memory card in that and then plug that into the computer. Either way, once you get it as removable disk, you can open it. And we're going to take our ROM file. Do not unzip it. Leave it as a zip file. And we're going to copy it to the SD card, but not inside any folders, just on the SD card itself. So it's removable disk and then the ROM file. Okay, once you put the ROM on the SD card, we're going to unplug it. And then we're going to go to ROM Manager. and click reboot to recovery click OK wait for it to reboot and you should see clockwork mod recovery and we're going to scroll down to backup and restore and select backup. This will back up our current ROM and wait for that to finish. Okay, once it says backup complete, now we're going to go to wipe data factory reset and then click yes and wait for that to finish. Okay, once the data wipe is done, you're going to go down to install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card and we're going to select the .zip file uh, for the ROM that we just put on there. Click that, then click yes, and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done flashing the ROM, you're just gonna click reboot system now, and wait for your tab to reboot. Okay, once it boots up, you're running your new custom ROM. Enjoy.